The Trinitarian language of the early church was incredibly precise, and it had to be. So the term that the Nicene Fathers went with at the Council of Nicaea was homoousios. This is a word that means of the same essence, and it meant that Jesus and the Father were equally God, they were equally divine. This combated the Arian heresy that said that Jesus being begotten by the Father was not equal with God. He was not God. He was not divine. But we reject that heresy and completely and wholly affirm that Jesus and the Father are both divine. They are equally God. They're of the same God-like essence. Now, when we try to explain the doctrine of the Trinity, we need to be able to say more than the Father and Son are of the same essence, that they're homoousios. We need to be able to explain it in everyday language. So to do so, we need to be careful to do three things. First, we want to not fall for the analogy trap. So while it might be helpful in some ways to explain the Trinity in terms of things we see in everyday life, like the, um, the H2O analogy, right? Water is liquid, gas, solid, but it's still water. That analogy breaks down because water is not liquid, gas, and solids at the same time. People use other analogies like uh, the Trinity is like a three-leaf clover, the Trinity is like an egg, yet these all break down because they are analogies constructed from everyday life and the Trinity is an incredibly complex doctrine that stems from an incredibly complex and deep God. So don't fall for the analogy trap. And second, we want to affirm what the Bible affirms and live with attention. So when the Bible affirms that there is one God, we, we affirm this as true. And when the Bible affirms that the Father is God, the Spirit is God, the Son is God. We affirm that as true and live with attention. And finally, we want to explain the implications. So a lot of people misunderstand the doctrine of the Trinity because they don't know what it means for their everyday Christian life. But when we translate the Trinity into everyday language, we need to explain that the fact that the Trinity is true means that when we see the person of Jesus in the New Testament, that is what the Father is truly like. Jesus isn't uh, this loving, kind person, while the Father is this angry, vengeful person. They are the same. It also means that when we are indwelled by the Holy Spirit, that we're indwelled by God himself not something like God, a little bit less than him, but truly indwelled by God himself through his spirit. These things, when we apply them, will help us greatly in translating the doctrine of the Trinity into everyday life.